Hey, wait, wait. Um, welcome back to some more of The Walking Dead. Last video, we did lose Chuck. We met a bunch of new people. Um, and most importantly, we found a boat in the garage of our house that we've been holed up in. Um, so we are going to sneak into Crawford because we think that they probably have the parts that we need to fix up the boat, which I think was gasoline and a battery, if I recall correctly. Um, so I have a feeling this video is going to be pretty intense because we're getting towards the end of the episode if it's been following a similar timeline. Um, and typically at the end of the episode is when everything makes me cry. So huh, I am not ready for it, but I'm going to power through. Um, but I'm not going to give much more of an intro just in case I chicken out. <laughs> So I'm going to start before I let the anxiety of what's going to happen get to me. Um, because pretty much at this point, all we have left from the original crew are people that I don't want to lose. So, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do, so you know when you post the next video. And let's dive into this before I check it out. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Honestly, kind of surprised he's not telling me I can't go. <laughs> Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Just another person to get killed. Yay. <laughs> Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decision's made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. Didn't ask She's you. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. First of all, I'm not leaving her alone with Omid because if someone comes a knocking, what's he gonna do? He's laid out on the couch. Second of all, if there's small this places, she right can help us. The center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. Shit, this is shit, it. Shit. Remember the plan. <sighs> we stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, it goes double for you. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. I thought you would open it and peek out, you jerk. No need to sass me so. Let's go. Um... I wonder how many people can fit on the boat. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. Oh, that's not What? Good. Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think ah, I they're that. probably all yeah, zombies. Oh. Okay. Maybe not. Me and Kitty will sneak up, trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kitty, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Don't press the wrong button. Don't press the wrong button. What 
the fuck? I knew it. I feel like that's always what happens in these little communities that think they're being so what the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Careful. Get inside fast. <sighs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. <sighs> fuck. Fuck. Do you think they saw us? Your guess is as good as mine. Kind of an unanswer, but I really don't know. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. Who brought him? This is good. <laughs> He's never helpful. <sighs> what? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb, they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. That's a little sassier than I wanted it to be. I agree. So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? All right. All right, I like the mentality. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. You always have a bad feeling. Chill out. <laughs> she says that she has a bad feeling as well. <laughs> oh boy. We better be quiet or they're gonna bust out of that. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Maybe we can do that thing and send, um, what's her name? Blondie. Send her somewhere and like blast a radio or something. Or I noticed fire alarm in the building. So maybe there's fire alarm in a different building. She could pull it and run. Make them all go over there. Looks like know? they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? What about the fuel? Where Why? should I start looking? Why are you being sketchy There's sketch? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. 
I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone what about Clem? Be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. <laughs> Back before you know it. She's got a point, though. <laughs> This freaking kid has proved time and time again he is not reliable in a tight squeeze. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. I mean, could be useful. We can burn crayons as candles. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. I wanted to just look at it. Okay, thank you. So where are we? Command HQ. So we're gonna go up left, right. Is that the stairway we came Fuel's up? in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. Okay, so that's not gonna be us. That's gonna be where Kenny goes. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Also not where we're going. We're gonna he need this the fire escape. To the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. So you have to go left, right, Right, left. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Nope. Nope, it does not. Hopscotch. <laughs> Hopscotch. Creepy. Are they made out of socks? Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. And we're gonna have to give Clem an education somehow. No power, no TV. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Mm. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. I'm not going to tell you you've no, been wait. useful. There is cause... something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. You tell him, he's gonna kill you. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know, I've thought about that, but I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Okay, your Look, funeral. We need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? And if it's bothering you that badly, just I leave the group. You. I'm gonna get back to this. Bye. Looks oh. like the Crawford's final solution. Oh, so it wasn't like the CDC type of people that did that. Initials of person conducting the search. Day since outbreak. Number of walkers found. Number of citizens brought to Crawford. 
number of ineligible citizens found. Oh. That's icky. <laughs> that feels really, really icky. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This Liar. desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think so, Claire. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. Oh boy. It is interesting because during COVID, when we were completely shut down. What's going on in the rest of the world? Yeah, see, that's what I want. I want a, a game that. Or a TV. I know they've done that in a couple of movies, like, um, what was it? World War Z. You see what's happening in the rest of the world. But I wish there was more zombie entertainment that talks about, like, the world as a whole. I'm trying to remember, like, 28 days and 28 years later. I haven't seen those movies in so long. Just a bunch of paste. Never underestimate the power of glue. But that would be cool if there was, like, a Walking Dead game or a Walking Dead show spinoff that was, like... A more worldly view, I guess. Okay, let's just make sure there's nothing down here. I know that there wasn't on the map, but... I told you guys I'd be thorough. Principles of Crawford. All illnesses and medical conditions must be disclosed to the council. Children under 14 not admitted without authorization. Anyone asked to leave, Crawford cannot return under any circumstances. That's too quick, game. Too quick. Theft or looting within the district will not be tolerated. Waste not. Make the most of your rations. Who's supposed to read that in one go? Welcome, citizens Looks of Crossford. Like Crawford. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. We don't need to look at that. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You okay, coming or you not? You just scared the shit out of me, darling. Oh, okay. This must be the way to the playground where Bree said the fuel was being stored. We don't need to go that way. This place definitely has some major damage. Yep. What is that? Shell casings all over. Did you see her head? It was like, whoa. It wasn't good. Let's take them. They've already been fired. They're worthless. Let's not take them. <laughs> What's in the locker? Open it without the combination. Okay, so we gotta find a combo. I think it's empty. Those Crawford people probably locked this stuff up somewhere. Okay. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay, if I were a combo, where would I be? I can't really turn my camera, so I know that there's not much. Okay, just a bloody handprint. 
There isn't anything on this poster, right? Oberson. The guy who ran this place. Live within the rules. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Exit to the alley. I don't want to go do that and not be able to... Okay, I'm going to go check back in the... That main room and make sure there isn't a combo there that I missed. Oh, shit. Missed that. Maybe it's in here. Locked. Uh, didn't need to use the bathroom anyway. Fine, game. Bone dry. <laughs> I just love how he says stuff. Bone dry. Just make sure there's nothing I can do there. We already looked at those. Okay. Did any of the others come back yet? No, you're the first. You might want to go check on them, see if they need any help. Sure thing. Okay, but I just need to check for a... I can't walk up there. Group A, Group C... Hmm. Alright, well... Maybe it's in one of the... Hmm. My only other thought is that maybe it's like in the nurse's station or the place where Kenny and Bree are going. Unless it's not like written on a wall out here, is it? And I'm just missing it? Go get the battery and then pray <laughs> she doesn't hit the fan when I am. Oh shit, that's not the right way. I need to take it right. This way? Oof, I don't like how they sound. I don't like how they sound. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. Where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Shh! Stop yelling, would ya? Guess I'm not going that way. Oh, I don't like being alone. Authorized motor pool workers only. Okay. Auto shop must be down this way. Looters will be shot on sight. Good. <gasps> that was Molly. That was Molly. Damn. Photo ID required beyond this point. Why do I want to climb these? <gasps> oh, because the door is barricaded. Okay. I was like, why are we doing this? <gasps> Just make sure. Let's see. Oh, boy. Back it up. Not get too close. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. My anxiety levels right now are just like through the roof. Fuck. 
Damn, it's jammed tight. Need something to prop it up. Um. Leave him. He's mine. Nice to see you. Who's this guy? I think you got Molly. him. Molly! What? I think you got him. <laughs> One more! Who is he? He's what do you do to you? Scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. I'm sorry, where were you oh, carrying that? That'll work. <laughs> Um So clearly she lived in Crawford for a little bit, right? Just cause she knows a little too much. And clearly has a grudge against that guy for some reason. Come on! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. he not how is he not dead take a look around I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door how did she not hit his head <sighs> oh there's a car alarm on that but maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat okay so clearly she's from here um. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Shows the fuck I know, because I thought that was the battery. <laughs> Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. Um. So, this is. I'm trying to think of reasons why she hated that guy in particular. Um. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. False sense of security, I guess. It looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. So my first horrible thought is that he... sexually assaulted her? Because that's unfortunately where a lot of those stories go. It's locked. No way in. Um, but also he's a medical that professional. Link. Must be an anti-theft system. Good chance so... of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. I don't know what he would have done. The panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. Oh god, I don't want to hit this button. If I hit this button, the car alarm's gonna go off. I just know it. I just know it. I just know it. Maybe that guy determines that she was unfit to live there, if he's a medical guy. Maybe she has something wrong with her that we just don't know about, like cancer or, I don't know, asthma. Seems like they're pretty strict here. And maybe he was the one that was the deciding factor that told her she had to leave. No power. Okay. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Molly, I need your thingy. Is 
Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. What do you think happened to Crawford? He's don't not know, dead. Don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. I think that might be it. I think she has something... I haven't seen anything physically wrong with her, but physical disabilities don't always manifest in appearance. So I bet that guy found whatever was, was wrong with her and kicked her out. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. Now that thing's gonna come crawling through, she's gonna get bit. Promise now. Not a scratch. <sighs> oh, God. It's a freaking game, guys. Okay, what if she's, like, infertile? Like, maybe she's like me, and she has, like, endo. And it's caused her to be infertile, and they are going to want babies eventually. I did it. And she can't have babies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So they kicked her out. Not good. No shit! Maybe pull I'll out the thing? Hurry. There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. Oh my god. I thought that's what I was doing. I'm not gonna lie to you. Thought I was taking the terminals off. Got that one off! It's off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. She's got a Mary Poppins okay, backpack, I think. Okay, follow me. Move ass. Why are we freaking walking? No big deal. We just got zombies coming after us. Let's just walk to the truck. Great. Now what? Skylight. Shut. Shoot it out. Well, you know, I thought maybe you could just open it. <laughs> oh, she's gonna leave us here, isn't she? Oh no, she's not. Okay, good. Damn, she's strong. All right. Shit. Okay, so now we're on a roof. <laughs> you ever stop complaining? Come on, Lee. I love you. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Yeah, like I'm gonna do that. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. Yes, actually. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? You have our battery. Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Kenny's gonna be pissed. Oh shit, I forgot to look for a combo. Damn it all. You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. I guess maybe I'll go check on Kenny and Bree? They said they were almost through, like, however long ago that was. That was a long time ago. 
That was a whole like twenty minutes ago. Little help. Go. Little help here. Oh my god! 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 Oh my god. The doors won't close all the way. Please do something. We got break the door with something. I don't think that's gonna help. Damn well better. Well, it's metal, but there's glass there. It's gonna break. Oh god. We got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Guys, this glass is breaking. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Kiss not ass. So good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Well... Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Okay, well he took that better than I was anticipating. What happened? Bree? Hey Lee, thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting Oof. treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like know. Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. I just want to look at this and make sure there isn't a quote on here that I missed. Armor. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's Library, office. Library, command, records, sterile bathrooms. The auto shop out through here. Quarters A and B. Those were locked off for sure. The stairwells where all the walkers are. Records was locked off. So I don't see anything. I guess my only hope is that it's in the nurse's station? As I can't, I don't see anything out here. It wouldn't be like door numbers, would it? Well, they wouldn't even let me interact with it, so I think I have to obviously find it. Nothing up here, I, guess. I thought maybe it might be written on the inside of the door. I don't like walking by that at all. Molly, you there? <gasps> Where the hell did they come from? Vernon must be trapped in there. No guns. Oh. Where 
Where the hell did they even come from? Um, Krista? What the hell happened? He's hiding they behind the freaking the hallway curtain. after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a oh, look. No. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Okay. Let's see. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Didn't realize I was looking at the phone. <laughs> Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? I don't think I want to listen to that. I don't have a good feeling about How's that. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Hey, Doc, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She Dunno. took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I Will hope she? so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. What about a locker combination? Not working. <laughs> what is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Mom? Maybe there's something in it. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? I don't know. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. All right. Sassy frassy. Uh, already cleaned out. Just being thorough with all. What's this on the floor? Oh, no. It's a sonogram. Oh my god, guys, they did not. They did not, they did not, they did not. <sighs> I know what happened. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. 
I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. supposed to get out of here. All right, Ralphie. Oh, I can go back out the <laughs> Yep, okay. Freaking I saw that. Ralphie, what are you barking at? So, um, we had... A bush in our front landscaping that was like way 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 overgrown and it was covering our front windows and um, I trimmed it down Turned it down when I got back from Germany, and so now he can see out the front windows. And now, anytime anything walks by, he is a madman barking at it because he couldn't see out the front windows for so long. <laughs> I kick him, sir. I give him a ha and a hi ya. Let's give him another for good measure. Okay, never mind. This is definitely the guy. I really just want to kick him again to make sure he's actually dead. <sighs> this might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. The locker! Shit, time to go. Um, okay. So, anyways, he goes crazy. Because he can see outside now. Logan. This must have been his locker. Another tape. The safe combination has got to be on one of these. The wind in this building sounds like the same wind that's in WoW. The same wind sound. If you've played, you know what I'm talking about. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy, or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. 
Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. So she's what happened. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More Wait, so what's the other tape? The combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. I'm glad they didn't make us see the combination Where on our own, because I did not know what he was pressing. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Oh, that is not what I thought happened. Ooh. Oh, shit. So what was her sister sick with? Was that her sister that was pregnant? Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. This is not a joking matter. Here you go. Wait, where did we put that? Tell me we just What's put that, that in our back pocket. Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. Oh. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic. Oh, By Crawford's rules, shit. that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away.
This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, Jesus! Shit. Shit. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. You sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. No. Uh, ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Shit! Ben? Okay, Molly. Lee! Shoot this fucker! Thanks. I was gonna say, I it definitely wasn't me. <laughs> Shoot it! Holy kid, nice. <gasps> Thanks. Clem! Anyway, I just sound like such a valley girl. I just hated myself for that. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! I can't. Such a fucking moron. I can't handle him. This is my fault. All my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Gotcha and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. We gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kitty, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, I know you're upset. I understand. But you don't get to make a decision like that on your own. We're all in this together. We're a group. Sure! Take a vote! This is America! Fuck it! But before you all decide, there's something you ought to know. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? We don't have time for this! Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? <laughs> Fuck. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. 
You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Oh, good. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! I got you, Clem. I got it's you, Clem. Right. I got you. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Oh my god. Can we climb faster, please? Come on, let's go! Let me know if I had tried to pull him up, if I would have been successful. Krista, everything okay? Oh, me! Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Ready? We got you medicine. <laughs> Those assholes! Uh, I feel like I could use some. Oh my god. Where's uh, the He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. That's not what happened.
Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't <sighs> want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. She's a kid, no she will. start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so Can much. Can we get this man a pillow? Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands and take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. What you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Mm. I don't think I will, not until you've told me that you understand. I liked Vernon. Past tense. Hey going somewhere yeah I'm about to head out I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything it's been fun why are you leaving what are you talking about Kenny's working on the boat right now thought you were coming with us God knows you earned it yeah I've been thinking it over it's not for me sounds like it'd be pretty crowded and I never did like the water you sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Mommy. You too, Lee. I liked Molly. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. It's Good mutual. Luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Excuse me. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? You and me, we're going to go our own way, just like we agreed. No need anyone else. 
else. It's just gonna be the two of us. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> My fucking heart is breaking. Lee, don't leave her. She needs you right now. Okay, good. Fuck. <sighs> Clementine? Clementine? She took the walkie talkie. She did not. She did not. She did not. Ooh, she's gonna be so grounded if she did what I think she did. Wait, where is everybody? Did they leave us behind? Clementine? Clementine! They fucking leave us behind. out here it ain't safe lee where's clementine she's not in her room vernon ain't in the house either what the hell is going on whose blood is that it's mine oh my god no way they are no. not no fucking way there's no time to worry about clementine's gone there's no chance she just wandered off on her own then who the hell took her? I don't know. <sighs> Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? I'm so fucking angry right now. <sighs> Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine, and in your condition, he may not be <laughs> able to in time. She needs our help. 
all of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he's okay. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? This, no. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Can we chop off his arm so he doesn't turn? <laughs> Fucking wonderful. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy... Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. I'm so f I'm so fucking angry right now. I'm so Did you kill the boy in the attic? Me and 73% of players killed him. Did you lie or threaten Vernon? You and 57% of players were rational and honest. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? 47% of players brought her. Most didn't. Probably wouldn't have really changed anything. Did you let Ben fall to his death? 54% of players let him go. So I wonder what... Um, would have happened if we held on to him. Obviously, we couldn't have saved him. He was seemingly meant to die there. Um, but I wonder how he would have died if we held on to him. The bite reveal. Did you reveal your bite to the group? You and 80% of players showed the bite. They're going to find out about it anyway, so might as well be up front and honest with them. Wait. Ben could have survived?
wait, 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 wait. <laughs> In what scenario is it just Lee and Ben? What happens to... What? What? You guys are gonna have to talk me through how that happens. I felt like, I felt like my outcome was the best outcome, but here, I, okay. We literally could have gotten everybody. That's great. So if I pulled, I could have saved Ben, I could have pulled him up. Is what you're meaning to tell me right now. <sighs> but then Kenny wants to kill him. So how does Ben and Kenny get... Okay. Apparently I'm just an evil bitch and was like, oh, see you, Ben. Cool. I don't really know what to say. I think I need to process because I'm just... I'm so angry. I'm hoping... I'm hoping it's like other games and shows and things where we can cut off his arm and then he's still gonna live. We just gotta get it before it, the infection spreads too much. But I have a sinking suspicion that that's not gonna be the case and I just can't think about that. So... I don't really know what to say other than that. I think I'm gonna be sick. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. That was really well done, except for the end. I hate you, Telltale. That is all. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do, so you know when I post my next video. Remind me again of why I'm playing this game. Okay, thanks for watching. I think I'll be back for episode five. <laughs>